Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and More. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys, and it is a lot of a food haul. Um, I went there looking for something in particular, wanted to uh, find the granola I was looking for and the plastic cover-ups, and I found a lot more goodies, so I was pleasantly surprised. First off, we have these Sunbest granola clusters. These are, they have, um, their, it says they're heart healthy. The flavor is a honey with super seeds, which are flax and pumpkin seeds. There are no artificial flavors, no added colors, and a good source of fiber. And my husband, um, I've had these in the, in the cabinet for several weeks in the pantry, and I have moved them to the kitchen counter and just have a little basket here on the counter that has different little, um, snacks and breakfast items that are kind of quick grab items if we're in a hurry we're like i'm like oh here's a breakfast bar we can grab and go or um there's these little gif little gifs to go um if we're wanting you know grab an apple or a banana and put fruit and things like that in there and it's just a quick um snack or breakfast to go like i said so anyways I had moved these from the pantry over to here because I thought, oh, that'll help me remember that we have the um, yogurt and we can put these with the yogurt. And I had also purchased previously two of these, a mint green one and a peach one at the Dollar Tree. And these are perfect to put your yogurt in. And here on the top, it has the little spoon for easy travel. And then on the top, you can put your granola right in there and you have everything you need for a quick, easy breakfast. So, with that being said, I wanted to remind us that the granola was in there for that. Well, he's seen them, and he loved them, and he said, I don't know where you got those at, but I would like some more. And I, I of course, smiled my little cunny smile and said, Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, I did get him several packs of these, so we have these on stock. And then I also found, and. I had a peanut butter one as well. It looks like he took that to work. Um, but I did get several of the honey for him because those are the ones that he mentioned that he really liked. And then I found this new flavor there. And this is almonds and raisins. And that's what this one looks like. And he loves almonds, so that was perfect. So I got a few of those as well. And then, um, yes, I mentioned I wanted the cover-ups. So I did find them at our other Dollar Tree, and there's 17 pieces in there, and they're just perfect for when you just need a quick cover for your container, and you don't want to wrestle around with looking for your lids, because sometimes by the end of the week, they're just thrown at the bottom of the cabinet, honestly, guys, and they're not put back where they need to be, and that's a, like a weekend project where I just do that quickly and get it cleaned up, and then the whole process starts all over again the next week, right? Or at least in the, within the next two weeks. So, I love having these on hand. And you get several uh, different sizes. You get four small, seven medium, and six large. So I would highly recommend those as well. And I wanna go ahead and show you this so I can get it put in the freezer. Was strolling along the freezer section just to see what I could find and was pleasantly surprised at what I found there as well. So they have this, it's by TJ Farm Select Santa Fe Blend. This is a steaming bag, okay? And you get corn, black beans, red pepper, green pepper, and diced onions. And again, it's this says a good source of protein, an excellent source of fiber. So we like to do the dupe chipotle uh, vegetable bowls um, from time to time. And I thought these would be perfect for that. So I picked two of them up. Honestly, I probably should have gotten more just to have back to put in our stock, put in the freezer, but I did not. Let me put these away real quick, guys. Bless you, Maxie. Bless you, Maxie. Max is sneezing. So anyways, put that over there. So we got the granola. I got the vegetable blend. Then I got these Stouffer's Animal Ice Cookies. I did notice that someone was eating these, and so I'm glad, so I went ahead and, and bought more because um, I had bought them before at the Dollar Tree. 
And speaking of cookies, I had to get another package of the Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookies. These are really good. And if you just want a late night snack and you don't have any cookies, you just whip them up really quick. You just add the butter and the water and there you go. And these are something usually late at night that my son says to my daughter, please fix me those chocolate chip cookies. Um, and then we have these Mary Ella cookies, butter, uh, this is the original Danish recipe, and they look like the ones in the uh, blue tins that you see at Christmas time, the little blue and silver tins that you can give out as Christmas, quick Christmas gifts to someone in a gift basket with a card and, you know, whatever else they like, bath salts or whatever else it is that they may like, or if you want to fix up a, a whole sweet treat basket um, uh, gift bag for Christmas, that would be wonderful too, but um, I will do a... Um, Maybe on my Tea Tuesday, I will do a quick taste test on these and let you guys know what those are like. And then I also got, I found these, I'd never seen these before. These are by Baker's Batch. These are almondette cookies. They're vanilla and they have, let me open them for you real quick. Maybe I'll do a quick little taste test right now. They have some um, vanilla icing on them. That's what caught my eye because I love icing. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Mm. Oh, those are really good, guys. You can really taste the almond in that. They are 100 for two cookies, 140 calories. But they're really, really good. I recommend those, guys. Okay. Anyways, um, next. I got, these are the large ones. You know, they have the small ones, but i seen the large ones, so I grabbed out four of these. This says, great on the grill. These are by Golden Home Bakery Products. It says that they've been baking them since 1937, and it's an ultra-thin pizza crust, ready-to-top ultra-thin crust. And, you, and you, it's 130 calories, one gram of fiber, and uh, one gram of sugars, eight, uh, 80 milligrams of sodium, and non-GMO wheat. And for one crust, 400 calories for that one little crust. And that's a thin crust. So imagine what the uh, regular crusts are. So I did get four of those because on Fridays, we love to order pizza. That's like our Friday thing. I, if y'all watch my show long enough, you've heard me say that. So um, was it last Friday? Uh, was it? We made homemade pizzas. And so I thought tonight we could do the same. We can make some homemade pizzas and we will use this. And maybe I'll do a video. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got some of this Crest 3D White uh, stain remover. So I got that. And then I'm down to one bag, and I always like to have two bags on stock. So I got these Ultra Shine Dish Detergent. Y'all heard me say before, these work great. I haven't had any um, problems with our dishwasher, any issues or anything like that. So I got that. And then... Um, once uh, we have stocked up of course on our toilet paper as well as our paper towels but once did i get down to a whole one whole package is gone then i like to get another one to re always replace it so we're always consistently having several packages there's that and i was pleasantly surprised to find this airwick essential oils plug-in i just paid ten dollars it was 9.99 at a store downtown for a five pack, I don't think it was a six pack, I think it was a five pack, $9.99 for the Airwick refills. And this is vanilla and pink papaya. It has a little scratch and sniff on there. And it really smells nice. And I wish they had more. I, I've always seen the off brand ones at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen the Airwick. So I was pleasantly surprised to find that. And I <laughs> would have saved a lot of money last week if I had went there and seen those as opposed to going to that hardware store and getting them. And I've also seen them at Walmart and they're just as expensive in the five and six packs. So great deal guys. If you see these, stock up on these if you like that sort of thing. Next, I did get another one of the uh, Pantry Essentials pizza sauce um, for our pizzas. I do have one in our cabinet, but we'll probably use that tonight or maybe even start on this one. So I went ahead and got an extra one because there are four pizzas there. 
and my son uh, my daughter and my husband love the olives they like to put those on their pizzas as well so I got them a can of those and my husband and I both love the mushrooms so I got a can of a jar of those and then for my daughter's fur babies I got them some pounds and I walk in her room and I do that and they come running. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. And then I just got one can of these Chef, Boyard, Chef Boyardee mini ravioli. This is a beef ravioli and pasta sauce. And it does have the flip top, so those are always nice. And this kind of stuff, guys, in this day and age with the way that the stuff is being off, the groceries are being off of the shelves and the trucks, there aren't enough workers to drive the trucks and the shortages that we're having, um, great items to have in stock, guys. Great items to have in stock. And it's always nice when you have the flip top in case something would happen to your can opener or your electricity. Um, we do have one of the manual ones, so those are always good to have in stock as well. And then I got two cans of the Campbell's Cream of Mushroom Soup. Um, these are wonderful to have really all year long um, for casseroles. So I got two of the cream of mushroom, and I got two of the cream of chicken. And speaking of chicken, I did find these uh, Kreider brand premium white chicken in water. So I got three of those to have on stock. I love to make chicken salad with these. We love to make uh, buffalo, uh, buffalo dip, buffalo chicken dip with these. There's so many different things that you can make having these on stock. You can make wraps with them just the possibilities are endless guys and then I got one turkey gravy the Campbell's and then I got two of the Campbell's chicken gravy so again nice things to have on stock this time of year or really any time um, I talked before about having our uh, doing a turkey and I don't like it when it's dry so these type of things are great to spread over there um, they're good to use uh, also uh, on your mashed potatoes and things like that. So I hope that you all enjoyed this haul. But even more, I hope that you all have a wonderful, blessed, safe day. And until next time, bye y'all.